What's up, everybody? Bill here, Guitar Struggles, with another shitty video. And, uh, here's my shitty video for today. So, apparently, I have to get a new bank card with a chip in it sometime soon. Because you're not going to be allowed to swipe your card anymore, which I don't really give a fuck. But it took me like 20 years to get used to swiping a fucking card instead of carrying cash, and now that I get used to this now, it's, I don't know how it is in Europe, but all over America, it's like, instead of swiping your fucking bank card to buy something, what you need to do is you need to, uh, like, stick it in this slot and leave it in there the whole entire time you're doing a transaction, which is fine, I guess I'll get used to that, but I can see I'll probably end up leaving my fucking card somewhere like a fucking idiot. So, and then they say, well, don't worry, you're going to like this, it's better. Because everything, everything new is always fucking better, right? Well, it's better, you'll like it. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, just, just give it to me. I, you can save the whole sales pitch. You don't need to sell it to me because I, I have to have this anyway. So there's that. But then I heard this, okay? They're saying that uh, th this isn't even going to last very long because the, the next thing they're going to is the uh, criminal proof thumbprint for everything. You're not going to carry cash. You're not going to carry a card. You don't, you don't need shit. Everything is just going to be on your thumbprint. And, and how the fuck could anything go wrong with that, right? Because everybody's got a fucking thumbprint. And, uh, end of crime. End of crime in America. But I thought of this, okay? So say it's gone to all thumbprint technology, or it's just starting to be thumbprint and you got all your shit on your fucking thumbprint. And one night, you're just rooting around in a back alley somewhere. You happen to be in a fucking dark back alley. And, uh, you're not carrying any weapons or anything. And some dude comes up and pulls a gun on you. And he's like, all right, give me your wallet. Because I'm fucking robbing you. And you're like, oh, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Criminal. Actually... See, I don't even have a wallet because um, I use the thumbprint. That's what I use at the ATM to get my money out. And he's like, well, I still want your fucking money anyway. And he's got the gun to your head. And so then you're like, well, I guess, I guess you're going to take me to the bank now and, uh, and make me take money out to give to you and use my thumbprint. And then he's like, well, no, I really don't want to take you to the bank and, and have all that hassle of fucking dragging you around. And then you're feeling good about it. You're like, oh, this thumbprint shit works fucking good. All right, well, sorry sorry it didn't work out for you. And then see what you don't notice, though. His buddy comes up behind you with a pair of fucking bolt cutters, whops your fucking thumb right off while you're talking. And you're like, you're like, oh, fuck. And you're like using your one hand to hold your other hand because your thumb, or where your thumb used to be, is like in fucking agony, okay? And you're like, holy fuck. And now this dude has your thumb, which means that he has access to all your fucking accounts and all your fucking shit, and you have access to nothing. So it's like, then you try and drag your phone out of your pocket without a fucking thumb, so you gotta use your other hand, and you're gonna call 911, right? And then you remember, oh, fuck. My phone's locked, and how do I unlock it? Thumbprint. Fuck, can't call 911. Now I gotta walk to my fucking car and drive to the hospital because I'm fucking bleeding to death from my hand where my thumb got cut off. And then you walk to your car and then you realize, oh, fuck, my car's gone because thumbprint, again, I lock my car and start it with my thumbprint and now this dude has my fucking car and he's on the way to my fucking bank and he's going to take all my shit. So then finally, let's say you get that shit all squared away somehow at some point. And you're like, fuck, I can't do any banking because all my shit's on my fucking thumbprint. So then you, you get into the bank and you're fucking missing a thumb. And you go see the manager or whoever's in charge of accounts, an accounts manager. And you're like, look, I need to reset my fucking thumbprint because I don't have a thumb no more. And somebody else has it. And can, can we uh, discontinue that thumbprint? And they're like, sure, no problem. All right, let's just set up your other thumb. And you're like, well, well wait a minute. I'm kind of really missing this, this opposable thumb that I have on the one hand, and, and I hate to risk, hate to risk another thumb. Can we just use the pinky or, or some, because a pinky would probably be better to fucking lose. And they're like, well, see, no, that's not the policy. See, it, it's thumbprint security, not, 
not fingerprint security. And then you're like, well, what happens if I lose this fucking thumb? And then what the fuck do I do? And they're like, well, how, how are you going to do that? This is foolproof technology. It's impossible. It's criminal proof. So, so then you get that thumbprint. Let's just say down the road, okay, you wind up losing that fucking thumb too. Well, then what do you do? Well, then you go to the bank and they're like, well, yeah, we'll set you up with a fingerprint. But here's the thing. We're, we're going to need a waiver. First, you're going to have to go to the doctor because of this policy and and get a statement saying you don't have any thumbs. And then what you have to do is probably sit at the Department of Social Service for however long and get some sort of fucking form. And that has to go before Congress. And then we can set you up with uh, it won't be the pinky, though. We're going to use the index finger next, as long as you have an index finger. And then, so there's going to be people walking around with, like, fucking no fingers and fucking thumbs, which is kind of ironic, because the criminals, you know, a lot of countries, they cut your fucking hand off for being a thief, but, but here comes the reversal in this fucking utopian future. People that aren't criminals are walking around with, like, a hook for one hand, like a pirate, and then like, a couple of fucking fingers on the other hand, and basically no fucking thumbs. All right, so how, how fucking smart is that? See, I, I don't see that that's that smart. I think it's easier if someone steals your card, and you can just fucking call the bank and cancel it. But then again, I'm fucking stupid. I forgot about that. I'm fucking stupid, and I don't see the genius behind this. So then my guess is the next thing will be this. Well, there was some trouble with the uh, with the uh, thumbprint shit, and technology always advances. So here's the next thing: facial recognition software, criminal proof. You'll never be fucking hacked again. You will never be uh, never be robbed. Recognizes your face. You go to the ATM, it needs to recognize your face. How the fuck is that going to work? Criminals are stumped. End of fucking crime in America. End of story, right? Except this. Except I was thinking of this, because I know how criminals are, and they're fucking assholes, okay? So let's just take that same scenario that I was talking about. So you get robbed, blah, 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 you don't have a weapon on you, and someone wants all your shit, right? So then this happens, okay? You explain to the criminal, I'm sorry, I'm sorry this transaction isn't going to work out very well for you, but, uh, facial recognition software, so guess you're out of luck, sorry we couldn't do business, uh, better luck next time, right? Except not so much, not so much, because here's what I think will happen. Well, unfortunately then, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm going to have to cut your face off. Well, what do you mean, cut my face off? Here, I'll just go to the bank with you and, and, and I'll take the money out. No, see, because I would rather just be able to get money from your bank account whenever I want, so... I'm going to just cut your face off and I'm going to wear it on top of my face and I'll just wear your face on top of my face whenever I want to steal some of your shit. And then you're like, oh, fuck, you're going to kill me and then and then steal my fucking face. And then the dude's like, well, I don't know if it'll kill you or not. And I don't know how long you can actually live without a face, but, uh, you know, I'll give you at least that fighting chance. I'm just going to cut your fucking face off and wear it on my face to steal your shit. And, uh, so at least you have that chance. And can you really live with your face cut off? I don't know. But I have a feeling we'll find out in the future. And then there'll be other technology, like some medical pharmaceutical company will come up with, like, a face wrapper that cauterizes all the skin on your, or all the fucking empty nerves and blood vessels on your skinless fucking face. And that's what you do until you can get a face transplant, which I don't know how you're going to get a face transplant because you don't have any fucking money because all your money was taken away. And, and the whole shit, you can't get into your car, facial recognition. All that dog shit. All that bullshit. So, that's the flaw I see with this future technology coming. But again, I'm really fucking stupid, so what the fuck do I know? And... That's my thoughts on it. Am I wrong? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Am I a fucking idiot? Yeah, I already know that, but if you want to let me know, let me know in the comment. And, uh, yeah, obviously this wasn't my fucking super cool, awesome video that I'm going to be... That I actually have started working on. Very little of it. And it's going to take a while. 
but again, uh, I've reached out to a couple people, and I've got the uh, soundtrack in the works for this video, and then I have an idea for another video after that. So again, I'm going to reach out to some people when I get some time. I was off yesterday, and basically what I did was uh, sleep for most of the day, then got up and got drunk and passed out. So I didn't get a whole lot done yesterday. But uh, we still have that to look forward to. And if I know the formula of YouTube and making YouTube videos, and I've talked about this with somebody, and he agrees, being that I'm going to put a ton of work into this video means that it'll probably be one of my most unpopular videos ever. But who gives a fuck? I'm making it anyway. Because I'm going to like it. So that's what I got, and that's what you guys can look forward to. Again, let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. You know, even if you're like, well, why would I subscribe to this channel? Because it's a shitty, it's a shitty fucking channel, and I know. But, you know, then at least you could tell your friends, well, I'm subscribed to the shittiest channel on fucking YouTube. How about that? And if you don't want to, no big deal either. So that's what I got. Till next time, everybody your struggles, most definitely my struggles, and I'm out of here.